Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday to you. This is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and get your dreams out of your head into your life. I pray that you are having an amazing start to your Tuesday. Yes, you guessed it. It is Transparent Tuesday. Good morning, Shanti. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, I just, I am um, just grateful. Grateful, grateful, grateful. We're going to go ahead and invite a few people here this morning, and we're going to get rocking and rolling. Um, we're going to get right into what we um, need to get into. Yes, yes, yes. And so I'm just super excited about what he is doing and and um good morning veronica thank you so much for joining i pray that you're having a great start to your work week a great start to your day and um just to know that he is he is working things out um in the background on your behalf amen amen go ahead when you come on if you could just speak in the comments yes if you can just speak invite somebody um how how is your day going how is your day going how is your day going thus far pray for my daughter she woke up with a fever amen i don't know if you saw my message shanti i've been up half of the night <laughs> um, but i am praying for your daughter um i'm not even gonna go through my list again oh we'll be well it's gonna be fine we're not gonna worry about that amen amen Give us some Tylenol, give us some kind of, you know, medicine, and hopefully she'll feel better. But you see what the title of this live feed is. You see what the title of this live feed is. Why continue, what's, why continue to do what is not working? Why continue to do what is not working? It's so funny. People are so funny. You know, I'm going to say this. I got to say this. People are so funny. People are so funny. I'm going to say this first before I go into my message. And as I was up this morning and talking and, um, and I mean, talking with the Lord, did a little reading and I was just up thinking and you know how your mind be going all over the place. And it just, it just really hit me how <clears throat> there has been an increase, excuse me. Um, there has been an increase in women just, that just lie. Let me, let me, I need to get some people on here. Yes. Women, they just, I mean, I don't, I don't really, I don't really get it. I just. I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't even think I can hardly explain it. I mean, let your yes be yes and let your no be no. Who and why do you have to lie the way that you lie? That is so unattractive. And a lot of times these women, they feel like, you know, they're not in a relationship and they just can't be happy. Don't nobody want no lying woman. It's ugly on a man, but a lying woman? That is not cute. It's it just it is not cute at all. How you all made up, made up face all on fleek hair beat and all these other things that you say, but you got a lying tongue. A lying it ain't good for nobody to lie, because if you lie and you don't get it straight, hell is gonna be your home. But lie for what? Tell the truth and shame the doggone devil. I just had to get that out, and that wasn't from God. That was from Monica. <laughs> I just had to get that out because, and I put a post out there about it. But lie for what? What you lying for? Tell the truth and shame the devil. But anyway, okay. Good morning, Nikita. Uh, I just went on a little rampage. <laughs> Not a little one. I just, you know, and I don't, <clears throat> what I was saying that I've seen an increase of women, <clears throat> excuse me, I've seen an increase in women just lying. Why? Why? Why are we just lying? That is so unattractive. 
And nobody, you know, especially if you're single, nobody wants a lying woman. Nobody wants a lying man. But I think for a woman, it just looks so ugly. It just, you know, from a woman to a woman, speak your truth. Do what you're going to do. Say what you're going to say. But you don't have to lie to kick it. I'm going to leave that alone. But anyway, <clears throat> the title of this live feed is, Why Keep Doing the Thing That Is Not Working? It's, it's like, you know, you, you know what you're doing is not working out in your favor, but you're going to do more of it. You know the way you are going is taking you farther from where you're trying to get, but you keep going that way. Why is it that we continue to do things that are not working in our favor? Why is it that we continue to show up day after day after day after day, week after week, month after month, and for some of you, year after year, doing the same thing. You've been clapping and tapping. You've been praying and, and laying, and, and you've been doing all this stuff, and nothing is changing in your life. When are you going to say, when are you going to say enough is enough and too much is too much? When are you going to say enough is enough and too much is too much and I'm ready. I am ready to make a difference. I know y'all going to pop up off here because see, you want, you want me to talk about naming and claiming. You want me to talk about, you know, as long as you do, as long as you doing what you want to do and feeling how you want to feel, it's going to come. You want me to tell you about prosperity and, and, and you, you can just, that's what you want to hear. But today ain't one of those days. Uh, today is Transparent Tuesday or Keep It Real with Coach O. Today is one of those days. I'm just going to tell it like it T.I. is. And if you want to go, go. If you want to stay, stay. But today is one of those days that it is time for you to face your truth and stop lying. It is time for you to do what need to be done to make a difference. Or you're going to stay where you are. You're going to continue to feel the way you feel. You're going to continue to have what you have. Because nothing is going to change until you do. Oh, I'm going to say that again. Nothing is going to change until you do. Good morning, Robin. Thank you so much for joining. It's time out for us all the pats on the back and, and lying instead of telling you it's going to be all right when you ain't doing nothing different. It's time out for instead of telling you that, you know, everything is going to work out in your favor and you ain't even working on your own behalf. It's time out for us just telling you that, you know, don't worry about it, that it's, it's, gonna, it's working out for your good. But see, some of the things that's working out for your good requires, hallelujah, your engagement. Come on now, somebody. Good morning, Camelia. Thank you so much for joining. Good morning, Latrina. Thank you so much for joining. Some things are not going to work out in your favor because you're not working it. Some things are not going to change because you're not trying to change it. Some things, come on now somebody, some things are not going to turn around because you sitting in the way. You trying to keep stuff that he trying to bring, he, you trying to keep stuff that you should be letting go. Come on now somebody. So it's not going to get better. It's not going to get different. Why is it that you started working in areas and working with people and working on things that's not working. I don't understand why is it that we keep on doing the same thing over and over. And I say it a lot. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. But I'm going to tell you what some of the problem is. Some of y'all, I know, I know, I know you're not going to stay on here with me today. I know you probably didn't come on here for this message today. I know you was looking for me to tell you that everything is going to be all right and he's working it out in your favor. And I I know you was looking to say that no matter what you do and no matter how you do it, that, you know, it's going to work out for the good of those that love the Lord. That ain't the message today. Some of the message for some of y'all today, you lazy. 
You want to keep doing what you want to do and some of that is nothing and you think something's going to change in your life. You want to keep on doing what you've been doing and thinking something is going to change. You don't want to put no time in. You don't want to put no money in. You don't want to put no ring in it. Come on now. I'm talking to some, some, some of you guys. You want to get the milk and you don't want to buy the cow because you figure, come on now, you 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 getting all the goods. So you saying, ain't no point of me asking no other the questions. No point in me spending. I see y'all not going to stay on here. The number's going to go down today, y'all. But that's all right. It's the truth anyway. You keep on doing what's not working. You keep on spending time in this relationship with this person that don't care about you now. So what make you think they're going to care about you later? It's not even a good relationship, but you thinking about marriage? Come on now, somebody. You don't even like your co-workers now, but you now you want a promotion within a company that you have been miserable at for years. But see, we will hold on to things that don't make us happy because we are afraid of change. And we have, we, you know, we didn't put in our time and we didn't put in our money. You got your money's worth out of that thing long time ago. It's time for something new. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me today. We keep on doing the same thing and we think it. We're thinking, you know, I think it was Peter Drunker. He, he, he's like a leader. You know, Peter Drunker is gone now, but he, he said something like this. He had a quote that went a little bit, something like this really short quote, but it's really profound. It said, what got you there won't get you there. What got you there will not get you there. What got you there? See, when you first got in the game, you probably was able to get in the game with, you know, with a little nothing. Sometimes you can get in the game, you know, with just a good play. Come on now, somebody. Sometimes you can get in the, get in the game. Good morning, Camilla. Uh, Camilla, thank you so much for joining. Sometimes you can get in the game just because of the skills you have. But sometimes in order for you to get in the game, you got to put something in it. Come on now, somebody. We think, you know what? What got you there won't get you there. See, sometimes people can hire you for the job, but you have to keep yourself on the job. Y'all not going to talk to me. Um, uh, Y'all not going to talk to me. That's not a good time for me, Camelia. Um, We will have to make other, another arrangement. Uh, we will have to sit another time. That's not a good time for me today. But anyway, um, sometimes what got you there won't keep you there. People can help you get in the game, but they can't play for you. They cannot play for you. You keep on doing the same thing. You talking about you want, you ready. Come on now, somebody. They can get you hired, but they can't work for you. Where is your work ethics? Where is your truth? Where is your honesty? And for people that just sit up and I mean, it just irritates me. It irritates me to deal with a lying, a lying person. A lying person, and especially a lying woman. Come on now, somebody. And I'm not going to go back on that because I said that at the very beginning, but it just hit my spirit all over again. But you won't, you keep telling yourself you want something different. It ain't working because you're not working. You're not putting nothing into nothing that you're doing. You're not putting nothing into nothing that you're doing. And what you want, it's not working because you're not working. But you want somebody else to come and do the work for you. You want somebody else to come to do the job for you. You want somebody else to come and build the relationship for you. I don't even know why some of y'all look for a relationship. You don't like talking to people. You haven't, he, I, I don't even know why, what, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of your relationship seeking? What is the purpose? You you know, you, you don't like talking. You don't like cooking. You don't like submitting. You don't like this and you don't like that. But you don't like being by yourself. You don't want to do the things that is required for a relationship to grow. But you also don't want to be by yourself. I don't think you know. I really don't think you know what you want. I know this is a heavy message for some people. I, I know you were looking for me to come on here and, and, and tell you that, you know, that, you know, rocking you and tell you that everything is going to be, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all, it's not going to be all right and you lying. It's not going to be all right and you're not willing to put nothing in. It's not going to be all right and you're not willing to do nothing. It's not going to change because you're not changing. You got an attitude, you lazy, you lie, and you don't want to do nothing and you think that you're going to be blessed. None of those, none of those, none of those characteristics that I named mounts to blessings. Lying don't mount to blessing. Now, you know, it says faith without works is dead. 
again. You're going to have to do something while you're waiting, boo. You're going to have to do something. But I think we get so we get so attractive to what we see. You, you didn't stop looking at the Joneses and start looking at the World Wide Web. And you're looking at these people on TV and you want what they got. But you ain't willing to do what they doing. Y'all ain't going to talk to me today. You didn't stop comparing with your neighbor across the street and next door. Good morning, Miss Rose. Thank you so much for joining. Now you're trying to compare your whole entire life with people in other countries, with people in other states, with people in other cities, with people with different backgrounds and languages. Now you're trying to compare yourself to a whole world. You didn't left comparing yourself to the Joneses, but you ain't even you, you're not willing to do what they're doing. You keep on doing what's not working and you keep on complaining about what's not working, but you ain't, you're not willing to change anything. You're not willing to change anything. You're complaining about your job not giving you a raise, but you're not complaining the way you work. You're not complaining. You, you, you're, not, you're not changing the way you work. You're not changing the way you show up. If you want different results, you're going to have to show up different. How is it that you want everything and everybody to be different, but you want to stay the same? That ain't going to work. That is not going to work. We all have 1,440 minutes in a day. We all have 168 hours in a week. And if you don't know what you're doing with your time, it's going to be just like your money. You get your check, you don't know where your money going because you buying this and you buying that and you forgot about this and you forgot you gave somebody this and you forgot that you poured into this, you forgot that you did this and then when it comes down to what you need to do, you don't have what you need because you forgot what you did with your money because you flogging. You forgot what you did with your money. Same thing with your time. You sitting up on the phone, you sitting up on your computer, you lurking and looking on other people's pages and you looking on this and you on Snap chat and beat this and you on this and you twitter this and tweet this and 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 you on pinterest this and you pin and this and you on facebook this and you liking it and loving this and then you don't know where your time went and then when it's time for you to do what you need to do come on now somebody when it's time for you to do what you need to do for your household, for your business, and for your life, you don't know where the time went. Now you don't feel like it. And this vicious cycle is the cycle that the enemy want to keep you in. He don't want you to have no extra money for you to make no investment in yourself. You're not investing in no program. You're not investing in no person. You invested in you. It is you that you're making the investment in. See, a lot of time you look at the little money that you spend. A lot of time you look at the little time that you spend. But instead of you looking at it and you say, I'm doing something for myself that I've never done for myself before. I'm, I am doing something for myself that I have needed, that I have been wanting. But I've been helping everybody else. You want to help everybody else on the come up, but you won't help yourself. You want to help everybody else. But you're not helping yourself. You want, you want to make sure everybody else is doing good. But you're not making sure you're doing good. You want to make sure that everybody else is all right. But you're not making sure you all right. You keep on doing the same thing. You keep getting back in the same root. You keep on falling in the same. Come on now, somebody. Come on now, somebody. You keep falling in the same hole. Why you keep walking on that same? Why you keep walking in that same hole? Why is it that you keep walking in that same same hole. Why is it that you keep walking on that same path? You already know that the hole is there. You know that the hole is there. You keep falling in that same trap, connecting with those same people that use you, abuse you, but then you leery. You will begin to weary about somebody that is really trying to help you, but you keep letting people, the same people that made a fool out you five years ago, you said, well, I'm going to give them another try. Come on now, somebody. Come on now, somebody. And I, I you know, sometimes, and I, I, I try not to, I, I try to act like I got a little sense. But sometimes people can just do things that <laughs> they just irritate you. If I already told you what I'm doing, why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? <laughs> why you you know why you in my inbox asking me stuff when I've already told you 
what I'm doing. And if you was on here instead of in my inbox, <laughs> but anyway, the question is not for me, not for you to answer for me, but the question is for you to answer for yourself. The question is for you to answer for yourself. Good morning, Erica. Thank you so much for joining. The question that I am about to ask you is for you to answer for yourself, not for me. Why do you keep doing what is not working? You keep on, you think if you flip it a different way, that it's going to be different. You think if, it, if, if you rub it a different way, if you run from a dog, he's still a dog. If the dog is chasing you or you chasing the dog, if you rub it, it's still the same thing. So the way you hold it, the way you look at it, the way you think about it, the way you rub it, the way you run from it, the way you run to it, it don't change the fact of what it is. And I use the dog because I'm scared of dogs. I used to be scared of dogs. I'm not scared of dogs anymore. I don't like them. For those that have them, hats off to you. If you like them, I love them. I just don't like them. I don't want them rubbing on me. I don't like them licking on me. And, and you know, uh, but I used to be really afraid of dogs. I'm not afraid of dogs. One day uh, back here now, about a couple of years, I was sitting at a bus stop and a dog was about to attack two little girls. And I was sitting in my car and I jumped out and I was like, I wish you would. I was like, I was a dog. And that, that, that made me overcome my fear. And I haven't been scared of dogs since. I don't like them. I don't want one. Not today. I don't know. My mind may change five years from now. Who knows? But I, as of today, I don't want one. But my point is this. As long as I was afraid of dogs, I don't care if they, they you know, I, like I said, because I don't want them rubbing on me. I don't care if they wasn't bothering me. You know, I, I just don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. But you got to know, as long as I didn't face that fear, it was a problem for me. Dogs were a problem for me. But I'm telling you, you are not facing some things in your life. And it may not be something as vicious as a dog. It may be uh, just you being able to tell the truth. It may be just you being able to put some work in. But a lot of y'all, we just lazy. 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 We don't want to put no time in it. But you talking about put a ring on something. Doing the same thing over and over. Yes, it is insanity. Don't nobody want no lazy woman. You got talent, but you not using it. You always tired. Tired from what? Tired from what? You are not doing anything. Oh, y'all are gonna like me this morning. I know, I know, I, I know you 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 you're looking for that coach O that's gonna tell you. I'm still telling you to take action. But it's time for some of y'all to be pulled up out your seat and drug on down the road. Because, and I'm not talking about dragging you to hurt you. But you need somebody to put some fire up under your feet. You've been telling, get your hand down out of my video. Yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> you've been telling yourself the same thing over and over and over and over again. And you ain't doing nothing about it. And that, I'm going to tell you something. For you that's on your jobs and you're saying you're not getting an increase. Good morning, Sister Daniels. Thank you so much for joining. A lot of you, you're not getting increases. And I know somebody, I deserve it. I've been there. Just because you was, you've been here too. You've been blessed with some birthdays, but they do not qualify you. I know you better hush. And you don't have to say yes, ma'am. That's still giving you some voice in my video. Amen. He know he's not supposed to be on Facebook and in my video and he just can't quit, quit moving behind me and doing stuff. But anyway, anyway, a lot of you, you're wondering why you're not getting the increase, but you're thinking your increase is going to come from your showing up. You're not effective on your job. Your job, just because you're doing what they hired you to do, don't want you for nothing special. They already paying you for what you for what you do. You ain't doing nothing extra. You're not doing nothing above. Usually when they give you a raise, it come with extra work. And I know you think, well, where's the cost of living? That ain't even no money. Your mindset needs to be changed. Why is it that you 
just want a 17 cent increase. You want a 2% increase on nothing. You don't want just an increase. You don't want just a, you don't want just no doggone um cost of living increase. You want an increase because your skills increase. You want an increase because your value increase. You want an increase because the things that you bring to the table at that place, it increases. What is it that you bring into the table? Y'all not going y'all not saying nothing today. Because see, a lot of you, you didn't fool yourself thinking, I've been on the job for five years and they haven't gave me. I've been on the job. Just cause you show, you've been in this world as long as you've been in this world. And it don't make you be a person of change. It don't make you be a change agent. It don't make you come on now, buddy. You just I mean, come on now, somebody. You just been blessed to go to sleep and wake up and be a year older. It don't make you be no more mature. It don't make you be to learn no lessons. It don't make you want to do things different. Because see, over time, you should get to a point that you're tired of doing the same thing. You are tired of going down the same road. You are tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again. You should be tired of getting these relationships and you ain't here. You trying to get in a relationship because you so scared of being by yourself. You need to work on yourself because some of the problem in the relationship is you. Everybody from different backgrounds ain't the problem. The only common denominator is, is you. A lot of times we don't want to admit our own shortcomings and it's always somebody else's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. It's somebody else's the reason it's somebody else's fault the way we are the, the, the reason we are the way we are. It's somebody else's fault that we, we we are like we are. It's somebody else's fault that we we have this problem, we have that problem. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. I am sick and tired of being I said that earlier. I said that earlier, Erica. I said people need to be sick and tired enough need to be enough and too much need to be too much you need to be like the other folk that say i am tired of living this way thank you so much shanti i am tired of doing the same old thing i'm tired of talking to the same people i'm tired of doing the same thing getting a different result when are you gonna try something different you done made your bed Come on now, somebody. You done made your bed in your comfort zone. You done made your bed in that pain. You done made your bed in a place that you know you don't like. Get your stuff up. Start over. Get your stuff up and do something different. Because sometimes change is for the better. So why is it? Why is it that you're working so hard on things that's not working? Why is it that you're working so hard on things that are not working? They're not working for you. And they're not working for those that you are involved with. It's time for a change. I'm working a change in this season. There is more that God has for me. Amen. Amen. We've been doing the same thing for too long. You ought to get tired. You ought to get tired of the repetition. It's time for you to do something different. It's time for you to do something different. I'm getting ready to get off of here. I'm super excited. Empowering 8 number 2 is kicking off today. Empowering 8 number 2 is kicking off today. I'm excited. Um, I'll be popping in, talking to the ladies a little later on today. Um, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful unto God. And you know, sometimes, you know, the, the enemy, I'm going to tell you something. Nothing grows in a comfort zone. Oh, no, it doesn't. And it don't grow on the mountaintop. You're going to grow in the valley. If you need root, you going to grow in the valley. I'm going to tell you something. Um, I put it out there. There were, there, <laughs> you know, there were uh, many people that wanted to come. But you need to thank God that you are one of the ones that did. Don't just go picking stuff because you're trying to reach a number. Numbers are good, but I want quality. I would take, qu I would take quality over quantity in a day because you can have a lot of folks following you and more trouble but have a faithful few have a faithful few so i had to make some decisions i had to make some i had to make some decisions but i know the decisions that i make they're good i don't have to question them i don't have to doubt them because i know too much about him i know too much about him it's gonna be what he said is going to be. 
We ain't gonna make up nothing. We ain't gonna put no plate. We we just we are gonna do what need to be done. So empowering eight number two is kicking off today. Yeah, I'm super excited, and I'm gonna tell you, I've been talking to you all you all all this time, and your girl don't feel good. I don't feel good. I have sore throat, ear ache, running nose, stopped up nose, body ache, fever. You name it, I got it. But you know what? When I know I got something to do, I don't have excuses, baby. I got to bring the action. And yes, I'm going to take care of myself. Thank you all. I thank you in advance for your prayers and this and that. But at the same time, we got to stop making excuses and start making changes. We're not going to just be moved and wooed, but baby, we're going to be transformed. God bless you. Thank you so much, Camelia. But I can't rest. I got to go to work. <laughs> I'm on my way to work. I'm on my way to work. I'm going to be fine. All will be well. Um... God is good, and he is worthy to be praised. I pray that you will do something that will make a difference. Stop just sitting up doing stuff just because. God bless you. Thank you so much, Shanti. Talk to you all later. Bye.